What's up guys, Jeff Cavalier, AthleanX.com. So elbow pain is a very common side effect sometimes of training. And I'm not gonna say inappropriate training because it just sometimes is that we're not spending enough time paying attention to the muscles that actually control and command and prevent the elbow pain from occurring. So when we are lifting, we'll either get pain right here on the inside of our elbow, pretty common, or we'll get it on the outside of the elbow. Now either place can be pretty debilitating in terms of trying to grip a bar. So here's what I want you to do today, because I promise you this is gonna work and it doesn't take a whole hell of a lot of extra time. So what we do is we get a set up here inside of a bar, inside of a rack, just so that we have something at about chest height. And what we're all we're gonna do is realize that our elbow is really not the problem, guys. What's happening is it's a slave to the joints below and above it. Now you might be thinking to yourself, I've heard you talk about this before, Jeff, with regards to knee pain that the knee is really basically being controlled by what happens down here at the ankle and what's happening up here at the hip. Because the knee is just a hinge joint. And if my ankle's all jacked up, then the knee gets twisted and turned in weird ways. And if the hip is all weak or jacked up, it's gonna get the, hip, the knee again twisting in all different kinds of ways. So a lot of torque and knee pain. Well, the elbow is the same thing, just despite the fact that your hands are not in contact with the ground, doesn't make it as obvious as it would be with, say, the ankle. So what we wanna do is, we wanna make sure that we strengthen and stabilize the wrist and forearm, and then up here in the shoulder. So one exercise can actually handle all of that. We get here underneath a bar and we just uh, recline our body a little bit behind us. Now, the wider that we have our hands, is the, the more challenges that this is gonna become, and the more centralized we have this one hand, the easier it is. As far as the recline on the body, the higher up I am to start, the easier it is, the more I come underneath the bar, the more challenging it becomes. So if we want to start this out, we go with a centralized hand position with a more upright body. So we get ourselves here to start. Watch, the centralization will come in a second. Just like this. And then what we want to do is we want to take one hand, put it in the center so it's in the middle of our body. And all we do is let go with one hand and try to maintain that same position here of our shoulders and torso, meaning no tilting. Because what it wants to do is tilt and pull away from the body. You see how the shoulder wants to get pulled forward. So you have to just make sure that you hold your uh, torso here stable and level and that we don't get that over distraction here of the arm. And you'll feel all the scapular stabilizers work to hold on and maintain that position. And what your goal is is to be able to do this for about 45 to 60 seconds. And at the same time, you obviously are working the flexors here in your forearm to also improve your grip and forearm stability too and, and, and wrist stability. So when we could do that, great. Then we go over here, we switch hands, and we work on the same thing. And again, we don't want to see any dropping here. Okay. Now, as we progress, because that's too easy, we go back out to that wide position. So what we do here is we let go, and now we have the same challenge. But you can see that the weight is now more displaced off to the side with more of a tendency to fall, so I have to work even harder to hold that. So we do the same thing, we work to see if we can do that for 60 seconds. Whatever ability level you struggle at, that's the one that you want to work towards. Okay, then we can go back and lower the body. Now we just have more weight of gravity forcing downward that we have to control. So we start again back in the middle, one arm here, and hold. Don't let it pull too far away. Keep the chest out, and don't let your torso tilt, not even a little bit. And I'm lighting up now. Okay, and you work on that again on both sides. The other thing you could do finally is once you get in that position, you could go dynamic where you switch hands and I don't want to see even a single inch of drop. So when I get here and I'm going to switch, normally you'd see a little bit of that first. No, you got to stabilize, come off. Come here, switch, no tilting. Up, switch, no tilting. And see if you can do 10 switches. On top of that guys, I think prioritizing forearm strength and grip strength is imperative to protecting your elbows. And you'll see me doing this, anybody that watches me work out, I will do this in between sets. Here I am just grabbing a bar and hanging. Instead of just sitting around doing nothing, I try to work on my grip strength, which I think has led to a lot of other lifts being stronger. It helps me definitely on the deadlift. And it helps me with all of my exercises, really. I actually do it here, I mix it in on, on ab work. If I can, instead of just doing all two-handed hanging stuff, sometimes I'll go with one. Now I will caution you, if you have issues with your shoulder, this could be a challenge at first, but 
It's been helping me to get over my labrum issues because I've been getting stronger at stabilizing my shoulder and preventing that destabilization that comes from having a torn labrum. So all of it in time, guys, you gotta find out where you sit and what you need to work on, but this is how you get over elbow pain. Stop focusing on the elbow. The elbow is a hinge joint that's acting as a consequence of what's going on below it and above it, just like in the lower body. So guys, I hope you found this video helpful. If you're looking for a program that cares about all this stuff because it all matters, it's what we call putting the science back in strength. We have that over at athletenext.com. In the meantime, if you found this video helpful, leave your comments and thumbs up below, and I will cover what it is you want me to do in the future weeks. All right, guys, see you soon.